Welcome to the GWMP Series Limited, or in short, LTD. Is this GWM's answer to the Ford Ranger Raptor? In this video, we are going to review the GWM, launch it from 0 to 100 km per hour, and of course, test drive it both on road and off road. Oh, and you will also be the first to see why it holds the channel's record. If you haven't yet done so, please don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel for more dope content like this. With that being said, welcome to another review. The 2023 GWM P-Series LTD is a pickup truck that is available both in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive configurations. For the purposes of this video, we're only going to focus on the double cab range. The double cab model lineup kicks off with a 2-liter turbo diesel double cab SX at 435,950 and goes all the way to the 2-liter turbo diesel double cab LT 4x4 at 640,950. Followed by this, the P-Series LTD at 694,950. The P-Series range is powered by a 2-liter turbocharged diesel engine that produces 120 kilowatts of power and 400 newton meters of torque. The engine is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. If you're interested in the vehicle and want to use it for towing, it is important to note that the vehicle has a towing capacity of 3 tons and a payload capacity of 1 ton. The towing capacity is slightly less than that of rivals like the Ford Ranger and Hilux, which have a towing capacity of up to 3.5 tons. Later on in the video, we will launch the P-Series from 0 to 100 km per hour and you will be surprised by this engine. However, for now, let's look at the exterior design. The P-Series LTD has been given an upgraded front design. The front end features an upgraded blacked out grille and bumper. The grille is larger and more upright. The vehicle features LED headlights and comes with a winch with a towing capacity of 4.2 tons. That winch is so powerful it'll get you out of most situations you may encounter while off-roading. The redesigned bumper gives the vehicle an aggressive look and gives the vehicle a good ground clearance. The vehicle also features a snorkel which allows the vehicle to have a water wading depth of plus minus 700 millimeters. The ground clearance together with the snorkel means that you'll be able to go through rivers as well as off-roading with ease. The vehicle also features a 12 volt power accessory in the engine bay as well as a 220 volt plug for those off-road camping moments. In my opinion, this will also come in handy for those load sharing days. The side of the P-Series LTD has been redesigned with new side steel steps and blacked out wheel arches. The side steps are now more pronounced and give the bucky a more aggressive look. The wheel arches have been made slightly larger in order to be able to accommodate the larger tires. The vehicle features blacked out 18 inch alloy wheels with red brake calipers. 360 degree view cameras come as standard and will come handy when you are out off-roading or just simply parking the vehicle at the parking lot. Speaking about off-roading, the vehicle features a new off-road system. While other P-Series models use permanent all-wheel drive with a torque on demand system, the LTD comes with a new off-road system which includes a variety of driving modes including 2-high, 4-high, snow, mud, sand and 4-low. The off-road system also includes country expert mode and drive mode memory as well as linking to both front and rear differential locks. The vehicle also comes with off-road drive cruise control and trail turn assist, which decreases the turning circle by three meters, a feature that will come handy when you need to make a U-turn in the bush. The rear of the P-Series LTD features a redesigned blacked out bumper. The bumper now has a more rugged look. The tail lights are full LED and have a more modern design. As standard, the vehicle comes with a tow bar for those moments where you want to haul a caravan to the caravan side or haul a boat 
to the river. Access in and out of the load bay has been made easy thanks to the side steps on the rear bumper. I'm not particularly sure, however, if there is an availability for a roller shutter, I'd definitely have that roller shutter feature on this vehicle. It would definitely add to the security as well as look of the vehicle. Before getting into the interior of the P-Series LTD, let's have a look at how it drives. The GWM P-Series LTD is a capable off-road vehicle. The vehicle has a high ground clearance, a long wheelbase and a four-wheel drive system with low range gearing. The vehicle is capable of tackling a variety of off-road terrain including sand dunes, mud and rocks. The P-Series LTD also has a number of features that make it easy to drive off-road including heel descent control and a rear differential lock. When it comes to highway driving, the P-Series LTD is comfortable and stable. The engine is powerful enough to provide good acceleration and passing power. The suspension soaks up bumps well. The P-Series LTD also has a good fuel economy, making it a good choice for long distance driving. The location of the snorkel means that on windy days you will hear some wind noise. When it comes to urban driving scenarios, the P-Series LTD is easy to maneuver and park. It has a tight turning radius and a large cargo bed making it a practical choice for both work and play. Considering what it offers against its price, the GWM P-Series LTD is a versatile vehicle that is capable of handling a variety of driving conditions. The vehicle is a good choice for off-road enthusiasts, commuters and families. The normal P-Series range has a claim fuel average of 9.4 liters per 100 kilometers whereas the P-Series LTD has a claim fuel average of 9.5 liters per 100 kilometers. As standard, the P-Series LTD comes with safety features such as lane keep assist, lane departure warning, dual airbags with side curtain and front central airbags, tire pressure monitoring system, autonomous emergency braking, traffic sound recognition, as well as auto dimming mirror for those idiots who think flashing their lights at you will hurt. The vehicle also comes with adaptive cruise control which makes the vehicle effortless to drive which works very well with the autonomous emergency braking system as I shall now demonstrate. At this point in time I am doing nothing, the vehicle is actually coming to a halt all by itself. Look at that. Adaptive cruise control, yeah. With all of this safety tech, it comes as no surprise why this vehicle is rated a 5 star safety rated vehicle. So it seems we have covered urban driving, highway driving, off-road driving, there's only one more thing we still need to do and that is simply to launch this vehicle and see just how good that engine is. I performed two runs in order to get an average. On the one run, I got 14.4 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour, and on the other one, I got 17.4 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour, giving me an average of 15.9 seconds. Now that's a record for the channel for the slowest car yet. It comes as no surprise then why the vehicle came last at the Bucky Drag Race staged by cars that see the ZA. It was even beaten by the fly to the finishing line. The upgrades to the GWM P-Series made it more heavy, but no upgrades were made to the engine. GWM fumbled here. They had a chance to create a beast and they messed it up. Let's hope they do so in the future though. The P-Series LTD features a spacious and comfortable interior. The cabin is well insulated and features a premium look and feel to it. There is leather wrapping almost everywhere you look and touch. 
For your convenience, you have keyless entry as well as push start ignition. The vehicle features leather wrapped heated seats with contrast stitching on them. The heated seats would definitely come in handy during the winter season. Both passenger and driver's seat are electronically adjustable. You have a 7 inch digital instrument cluster which can be operated through the multi function steering wheel. The vehicle features a touchscreen infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities. Wireless charging together with two USB ports in the front and one for the rear passengers are there for your convenience. Practicality is good with storage in the center console, cup holders on the door pockets and center console. Rear passengers are treated to comfortable seats. I am 1.86 meters tall and fit just fine at the rear. With the front seats in my sitting position, legroom and headroom are reasonable. Isofix anchor points make it possible to fit a child seat at the back of the car. We've now come to the end of the video and it is now time to address the cost of ownership. With a recommended retail price of 694950 cost of ownership will set you back 16907 with an installment of 13586 at an interest rate of 12% given the prime lending rate of 11.75%. Fuel cost of 1,821, assuming that you fill up the 78 litre tank at least once a month at the current fuel price, and an estimated insurance cost of 1,500. The retail price includes a service and warranty plan of 5 years or 100,000 kilometers, whichever comes first, as well as an unlimited mileage roadside assistance for 5 years. Thank you very much for watching, please be kind to like, subscribe and share, your support is much appreciated.